plaintiff, Erica Hoyt, says when she started dating the defendant, she was only 15. But she lied and told him she was 18. Erica claims they had two children, but the defendant requested a DNA test for both of them. And both tests proved he was their biological father. She's suing because the defendant is over $17,000 behind in child support. Defendant Tramel Wright says from the start, Erica was deceptive and he could have done serious jail time for statutory rape because she lied about her age. Tramel claims nine years ago, Erica fled the state with his kids and he hasn't seen them since. So he's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I met Mr. Wright back in 2001. I was 15 years old. It was shortly after the murder of my father, so it was a very it's traumatic a uh, time in my life. Um, I met Mr. Wright in a teen nightclub at that time. I lied to Mr. Wright and told him I was 18, which in fact I was only 15. Mm -hmm. um, after about four months of knowing Mr. Wright, I finally told him the truth. At that point in time, Mr. Wright told me that it didn't matter because he was in love at that point in time. Um, during the course of our relation, four-year relationship, excuse me, we've had, we have had, excuse me, sir, Your Honor, um, two children. Um, the first one was had in uh, 2002, which at that time I was 16 years old. Were you all living in the same household with the children? Oh, yes, sir, off and mm -hmm. on. I stayed with some of his family members during okay. the course of the relationship, yes, sir. So you had the second child? Yes. Mm -hmm. In 2004, um, I started receiving child support in 2005 um, for the first child. We had to do a DNA uh, for the second child in October of 2005. Uh, during the course of the relationship, it was very toxic. There was fighting, arguing. Um, still in a number of things, Your Honor. Um, we officially split in 2005, um, towards the end of November. In 2006 is when we did our second, we received the DNA for our second child, which of course he was the father. At that point, they ordered a second child support order of $250 a month, 127 for each child. Okay, before you get further into the child support you're suing him about, let me allow him to give some background, sir. From day one, Erica Hoyt was very deceptive and um, deceiving. Uh, she was 15 years old. She lied about her age to me. Um, it wasn't until a year after that when she actually told me how old she really was. My grandmother got custody of Erica Hoyt due to the fact of her father being murdered and her mother didn't have a healthy home environment for her to live. So Erica Hoyt was amended or emancipated to my grandmother, if that's the correct word. Mm -hmm, it is. Um, I couldn't went to jail for 40 years for the lie that she told me to begin with. 40? Well, there was statutory rape. And that, 40 years in your state? Well, from, it was, as far as I know, it was 40 oh. years, yeah. So, uh, Okay, counselor. Go ahead, what <laughs> That's right, Your Honor. That's right. What's right? Uh, that Mr. Wright believes that he knows everything. I was never put into his grandmother's it's custody. Not 40 years. Go ahead. She took my kids, and I haven't seen them for nine years. When was that? Um, she left in August of 2006. August of 2006, I called her for the weekend, like I usually do, to give visitations to see my kids and pick them up. Erica Hoyt did not return any call or text. Right, is that your counterclaim for emotional distress? Is that what that's for? The testimony you're making about denying you opportunity to see your kids? You're not sure? All right, let's hear about the child support. Um, just to, I'm sorry, to go back and kind of touch on what he touched on. Um, his, his, I've always been on my own, sir, since I was 15 years old. Yes, my mother had some drug issues. My father had passed away. I've been working since I was 13. I've always been on my own. Nobody's ever had custody of me other than my parents, Your Honor. Um, as far as the children or for the second child, Mr. Wright had another woman pregnant at the same time, and she was also having a boy, which our second child would have been a boy as well, Your Honor. He was doing dirt or was seeing someone else. It was never a matter of me being faithful to Mr. Wright. Um, like he stated, yes, sir, that is correct. I moved in 2006 because I wanted to give my children a better life towards the course of our relationship. Mr. Wright and I have fought. He also slapped me in front of my sister and in front of the children several times. We fought. It was a very Did you get toxic. Did arrested any of those No, sir. Times? I've, I've, I've never... I've, 
at that point in my life, sir, it, I was young and I just kind of endured it. And I several times in yeah, front of the kids, yes, all of that. It's and that's why I left in 2006. I had to get myself together. And when I was done and was ready to be through with the situation, I okay. moved on to give my children a better life. I had nowhere else to go, sir. I was homeless. He wasn't helping my situation. Okay. So you moved uh, to get out of that situation. Yes, sir, I did. All right. I had a nervous breakdown prior to me leaving and I had to go. Yes, sir. I left okay. the whole home. I went to the Sojourner, uh, the Sojourner Truth House. Um, I, I, I lost everything, Your Honor. Yeah. And in order to save myself and to save my kids, yeah. I had to go. And that's why you did not. And Mr. Him. Wright knew about that. I took my kids to see his family before I left and he didn't show up to see his kids. Okay. <laughs> sir, you want to say anything about this? Erica Hoyt left the state without notifying me or notifying the court like she should have. Were you being abusive, physically abusive to water? We both were physically abusive to water. Okay, so that's a yes. All right. Did you know she went and stayed in the shelter? No. For she, abused women? She didn't. No, I did not. Okay. And he also did know that his family member seen the kids prior to us leaving. Mm -hmm. No, I did not. They, All right. they didn't see him. So. You're way out of the loop. Exactly, right, you're right. Go ahead, that is so very true. Right, if you don't know anything about mama, you don't know anything about them. Uh, Mr. Right, right, just to give They I lived with mama, find. didn't they? She lived with me and my family. Right, she so you ran. really should have known what was happening with her. If I was she there, yes, you're right. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes, you ran from you, she yes. said. Yes, she said right. she ran from you because you were whooping on her. I, she had to go I to an abused shelter. Her. Let's get to this child support. Yes, How sir. about that? Yes, sir. You been, uh, yeah, let's see that. Yes, sir. Let's see that. What do you owe? What do you owe? Let's talk about yes, that. Yes, what sir. do you owe? Yes, sir. Big he fella. hasn't seen what his kids owe? in nine years. He owes seventeen thousand nine hundred fifty-four dollars and sixty-nine cents. Big fella, seventeen thousand. What do you I'm have sorry, to say Your about Honor. that? I don't feel that I should pay. Why don't you? Due to the fact that she left the state without letting me mm -hmm. know anything. That's not a defense. Did you tell uh, child support court yes, that? Yes, I did. They, and what they say? I have they gave you that bill, didn't they? They say pay it. I have documentation showing. They say you don't have to pay. That says you don't have to pay. No, I never said I. No, you said you but did say like you I don't feel don't. you have to pay. I said, you I just feel. said it. You said I don't feel I have to pay right. because you left the state. Right. I said, did you tell child support that? And you said yes. Yeah, I told and what that. did they tell you? I still needed to pay. Thank you. Or you're going to jail. And I'm telling you the same thing. Ma'am, I'm gonna ask that they arrange a partial payment for you and credit it to his child support, right. but not release him from child support because yes, he needs to go to jail. Mr. Matthews, he needs to Mr. go Matthews, to jail. He sent me paperwork. He sent me paperwork back in 2012 where he was asking me to cancel out all rearages. At that time, because I wouldn't work with him, Mr. Wright stated to me seven, excuse me, three days before Mother's Day, he wasn't going to pay me anything. All right, good enough. He told child support he I wasn't working. Yes, sir, okay. And, sir, I asked you earlier, was that part of your emotional distress when you were talking about her keeping you from the kids? And you just looked at me. And I said, oh, I guess not. So, once again, I guess not. Your claim is dismissed. Judgment yeah. for the plaintiff. <laughs> You have a nice life. My kids Let's go. Will. You have they a nice life. They won't it's stop. Done, it's they don't need anything. Okay. They're not in the need for anything. So I don't you have need a nice life. Right? When it's all said and done, they want I everything. The so if you're not going to step up day. and spend the time, pay the fine. That's right. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you very don't much. The least you can do there is be there financially for them because they need you in some type of way. And when it's all said and done, I'm not keeping your kids from you. They're here and I want you to see them if you'd like to. Yeah, hey, I want to say hi to your dad. Hi, yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, baby. You okay? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Your kids are hurting. They're hurting. They watch you on Facebook with your other kids. And that's why you're here. You're I understand that. But Tremel, the only thing I want to ask you. communication. Okay, hold on, listen. That's the it. communication should have started the day you moved away. Tremel, I've been communicating with you. And at the end of the day, you don't have to communicate don't have to talk with me about because this you right can now. talk to your children. We don't have to talk about this right there you now. go. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. You go ahead. Mm -hmm.